Hello everyone, this is the question 6 on the tutorial differentiation of a triple function. I have a four example for question 6. Here I have a first question, a f x equal to 3x squared multiplied by sine 5x. So we see that here we have a polynomial 3x squared multiplied by a triple function. So I will apply the product rule to solve this question to find the first derivative. Then, okay, we let the 3x squared as our u and the b will be our sine 5x. So define your u as your 3x squared, get your u prime first, you get the 6x. And the b equals to a sine 5x, b prime will be um, 5 plus 5x. Alright, so once you have this, you can proceed to your dr f prime x. By applying the product rules, u u uh, v prime plus a v u prime equals to u is a three x square and the v prime is a five cos five x plus v side five x multiplied by u prime that will be six x. Then now uh, we simplify it. We have fifteen uh, x square cos five x at for the first term. And the second term, we have a 6x sine 5x. So if you like to uh, simplify your answer by just uh, factor out the 3, because we have a common factor 3, and we have a common factor x, you can factor, factor out 3x, and you have your 5x cos 5x in the bracket. And second term, you have a 2 sine 5x. For question B, we have a sine x multiplied by cos 2x. So again, I will apply the product rule because uh, uh, these two trivial functions is multiply each other. Then I have a u multiplied by v, u as your sine x, and u prime will be cos x. v as your cos 2x, and your v prime will be 2 negative sine 2x. Alright, after you have this, you can apply the product rule to find your f prime max u v prime plus a v u prime, which your u will be the sine x multiplied by v prime that will be negative two sine two x plus v cos two x, and your u prime will be cos x. Simplify your answer. You have your negative two sine x multiplied by sine two x plus cos x multiplied by your cos 2x. Question C, we have a cos x multiplied by tangent. So let the u become cos and the v become the tangent. u as your cos x, then get your u prime. You have a, a negative sine x. And a v equals to tangent x. v prime will be secant squared x. Then uh, get your uh, f prime x. By apply the product rule, u will be the cos x multiplied by secant square that will be the v prime plus v tangent x and multiply by u prime negative sine x. Then simplify, just write them down your answer negative sine x tangent x. And for this answer, we still can simplify because a uh, second square can be written as a uh, one over cos square and uh, minus a uh, sine x. This uh, tangent can be converted into the sine over cos. Then we further simplify. We have a uh, first term. We have a uh, uh, cos x because uh, one of the cos x already been cancelled off. And uh, you have a second term, sine square x over cos x. So since uh, both terms having the same denominator, we can just uh, combine the both terms on top. And uh, 1 minus sine square, you have a uh, uh, cos square x over cos x. Because uh, using the identity, the identity. Uh, tell us that the sine square theta plus the cos square theta equals to 1. So we can just uh, have a 1 minus sine square substituted as a cos square. 
then you have a cos square x over x. Finally, we have our answer cos x. All right, for the question D, I have my square root of x multiplied by cos square root of x. You can take this as your u and uh, this uh, cos as your v. So just write down your u will be the x power of 1 over 2. u prime will be uh, 1 over 2, x negative 1 over 2. If you simplify it, you will get a 1 over 2 over square root of uh, x. And uh, v equals to cos uh, square root of x, or you can may write in the form of cos x power of 1 over 2. And uh, to get your v prime, we will differentiate the outer function, which is cos, you get a negative sign. And just copy down the inner function. Multiply by, differentiate the inner function, you will have a 1 over 2 x power of negative 1 over 2. So finally, you will have a negative sign, square root of x over 2, square root of x. And this is uh, over 2. Alright, this is over 2. If you would like to equate the denominator, then you can go ahead, which uh, this will be equals to multiply this by uh, square root of x and on top multiply by square root of x. So you will have a negative square root of x sine square root of x plus a cos square root of x over 2 square root of x. Alright, this is your answer. Thank you for watching my video. So the question uh, number 7 will be on the next video. Thank you.